This is the Ursiri Lux Meter with color LCD screen. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get a user's guide, the unit itself, and it runs on three AAA batteries which are included. So let's put the batteries in. Batteries go right in the back here. Just take that off and load them in. Okay, so we're all set here. Let's go ahead and power it on just so you can see the screen here. And you can see how it is in color. There are certain things in different colors here. There's red and blue markers. The actual display is in white and you have yellow and uh, a few different colors there. So, like I said, this is a lux meter. First off, it also displays the current temperature. Just for what it's worth, it's there. That will, of course, go up as you hold it because the sensor is in the unit. But it'll at least give you a good idea of what's going on. Screen is nice and bright and easy to read in just about any angle. So that's good. A lux meter is a meter that measures light. If I go ahead and hit the min-max button and go to max, this thing sucks. So the first question is, what is a lux? What is that equal? Well, a lux measures the amount of light that's falling over a given area, and that's what this meter is going to measure. In other words, if you have a thousand lumens, which is the actual unit of measurement of light, and that is going over one square meter, that is equal to a thousand lux. So a thousand lumens over one square meter is a thousand lux. What does it mean to the average layperson? Absolutely nothing. However, all you do need to know is the number here. A larger number means it's brighter. It's that simple. Now why is it displaying zero? Well that is because there is a cap that is over it right over here. So we can take the cap off and you'll see that it's tethered and here is the actual meter. You may have seen a photographer with something like that uh, before. So just with the light in the room you can see it's measuring approximately 266, 267 lux right in there. Now again if we make this brighter then that number is going to go up so let me demonstrate that. Here is a work light. Right now we're measuring about 220 or so depending this is going to block some lights as you see like that. But we'll go ahead and hold it here and turn it on and you'll notice that has gone up tremendously. Let me shut it back off here. You see how it's 197 point or 160 point? That decimal point disappears. And as you see, these numbers keep changing, and that's because this samples twice every second. This will actually measure up to 200,000 lux. It also has a minimum and maximum on it. As you see, there's a min-max button right there. And when I press that, it lights up max. And now it's sensing, or rather it has already sensed what the maximum it has read was. The minimum, if we go to that, you see that lights up in blue, is 243.6. And now we're back to live data. Now let's say that you wanted to see what the reading is on something and hold that uh, reading there. You can do that. You see there's a hold button. Let me bring it closer to this light here. Okay, we'll hit hold and it will stay at 771.3 like that. Now I want to show you the max feature again. We'll press that at a light up max and then I'll bring it over here to that and get a closer reading. And now it's 1448. So that's the maximum it is read. And that number is not going to change until it reads a number higher than that. The same goes for the minimum as well. And you can just hold that until the little indicator goes out there, and that's it. Now, the batteries, like I said before, are AAA, and they should run this unit for 60 hours 
uh, before they need to be replaced and there also is a low battery indicator that will come on on the display to let you know. If you happen to forget and leave this unit on it will automatically power off in 15 minutes. However if that is not conducive to what you need to measure maybe over a longer course of time there is a way to disable the automatic power off. When you're done using it you should always ensure that you put the cap back on there because that way it'll keep everything nice and clean and ready to go for the next time and you can see now it blocks out all light and reads zero. By the way this is a non-articulating head it is straight as you saw and cannot be turned or adjusted so really it's going to be mainly for photography once again you may have seen a photographer with some sort of light meter they can hold it up next to somebody's face to get a good idea of the lux that's there and that way they can adjust their camera settings accordingly so once again this was the ursiri lux meter with color lcd screen if you'd like to purchase this item I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.